This video will be about editing a job's workflow, an individual job. There's really two ways to go about running the software. You could have a different workflow for every conceivable configuration you can come up with. So here's your list of workflows that I currently have in here. And I could have one that's called envelope landscape, commodity envelopes, envelope landscape, uh, commercial envelopes, I don't, envelopes landscape, plain paper, and the same with portrait, and the same with best quality, and the same with high speed. And you get the idea. You could have just every conceivable uh, configuration and where your operator would just have to take the file, drop it into that workflow, and there's really nothing that he, he, he or she has to do. Or you can have more generic workflows and then edit each job uh, one at a time based on the parameters of that job and that's what I'm going to show you here is is basically dropping a job into a generic workflow and then making the appropriate changes based on what you're trying to achieve on this job so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to drop a job and I'm going to go ahead and drop a envelope and we'll, first thing we're going to notice is going to drop into this into the system and it's going to immediately pause uh, and this gives me an opportunity to go ahead and edit this job's workflow before I print anything. Uh, to edit the job's workflow, I'll highlight the job and I'll right click on it and go to edit job's workflow. Now, among the things I can do when I edit a workflow is I can add different uh, pieces to this workflow. I can add a spot color adjustment if I need it. Um, I could add a, a Xi position if I felt I needed to do that. Uh, but basically on this one, I'm just going to show you um, what I can change in the direct output workflow action. The first thing we're going to look at is I can change the paper profile. This is going to affect your color more than anything else is we want to go ahead and hit the best color that we can hit. We want to hit those PMS colors as close as we can. So we want to make sure that if we're printing on a commercial envelope, then we choose the commercial envelope paper profile and not say the photo glossy paper profile because then your color is not going to be correct. So you always want to make sure that you choose the correct paper profile based on the paper you currently have uh, and the media you're going to print on. Uh, I can also tell it to print 100% black with only black ink by checking that button. Um, it's important to remember about that is that's only 100% black. 99% black and below is still going to print in all four colors. This is only for 100% black. I can make overall color adjustments. I can make the whole, uh, all the art darker. I can make all the art lighter. I can add or subtract any of the four colors that I'm using to print. I can do that. I can do a, a fair amount of scaling if I wanted to make the artwork bigger or smaller based on my needs. I could rotate based on my needs. I could change the configuration. Now the default configuration basically is a configuration with compression on it. So if you're going to have a artwork that has or an envelope or a piece of art that's going to have a lot of pictures and things like that on it, we want to have compression. Otherwise, it won't fit in the cache of that printer. So if I'm using a, or artwork that only has line art and text, I'd want to choose the line art and text configuration. That's no compression because it's not required. If I need the compression, I would choose the default, and that's got the compression in it. Okay. I can also nudge things and move them, but the position adjustments are basically what you want to do to a workflow before you start uh, printing in that workflow. So you want to make sure that ideally you're going to print a, a bunch of number 10 envelopes. You're going to print those together. And once you get that position where you want it, and we'll go over this in another video, how to use the position um, adjustments, is you don't want to adjust the position on every single job you do. You want to adjust it once and print all your number 10s. And that way you only have to worry about it the one time. And I can also go ahead and change the quality from uh, best to fast or fast to best, whichever way I wanted to do it. And once I made these changes, all I'd have to do is hit the pencil icon and it's gonna ask me if I wanna release the job. And when I say yes, it'll send it over to the printer and print that job. 
Okay, that is how we edit a job in the workflow.